today's video is one that I'm very excited to film. I've been looking forward to my 16th birthday basically like since I was 10 years old. And I think this video is really important for me to film because of course Corona has changed a lot. I was supposed to have my huge mega bash with like all of my friends and family and everyone gets super dressed up and of course that would have been amazing but things change and I had to just adapt and make sure that I still was able to celebrate it and enjoy myself. When I was trying to figure out what to do, there weren't too many ideas of 16th birthday plans that were suitable for this time. All the videos were pretty outdated and they showed events and gatherings that just weren't safer right now. This situation and having to change could be really hard and having to dig to find ideas and not being able to think of anything that sounds good just makes it even harder. So I thought that if I walked you through with my entire planning process, the ideas that I had, and ways that I figured out how to do this safely, mm -hmm. that you guys would be able to use all that help to come up with an idea that is equally as fun so that you can celebrate your birthday. So I was trying to think of ideas of ways to be outside, but I didn't want a drive-by first of all. I told my mom that I would be pretty sad if all of my friends that I haven't seen in months just drove by honking and then just drove away. Like, I feel like it would just make me feel even worse. So I scratched the drive-by, no drive-by. And then I was thinking maybe a park or something or a beach. But I didn't really want to just have a public party where we were just eating and picnicking because I've been doing that this summer with my friends and my family anyway. I felt like it wasn't special. Like it would have been a nice 16th and of course I would have appreciated anything that I did. But I just thought that I knew I could find something that was a little bit more exciting. So at first we were thinking maybe we would do like an indoor fort thing with my cousins and maybe one or two friends. But we realized that still it just wouldn't be safe enough no matter how much we spread out in my large open space in my house. It's just too confined of a space. And then I thought of the idea of a movie night. So that is exactly what I did. My birthday was on Saturday. It is now Monday so it's a couple of days later. But we had a really nice movie night. We watched Crazy Rich Asians. My mom had a projector out there and we had everyone seated outside. We chose movie night too because it was outdoors and because we have a larger space in our yard, we were able to fit everyone. There will be like a vlog of the morning, my setting up, and like a whole montage of how the party was set up and how it looked at night. It was so beautiful. So look out for that video. Hopefully I can get it up next week. I'm going to really work on it. So when I had sent out the invitations, I made sure to write that everyone brought their masks. Around the event, we had hand sanitizer in a couple of stations and my aunt went around passing hand sanitizer to people every once in a while to make sure that they kept their hands clean. So there were some precautions in place to make sure that people weren't in too close proximity and to make sure that people stayed safe, especially when they were touching food and stuff like that. So I had 12 guests in total, including myself. There were only a couple adults inside of the house all the rest of my friends parents who dropped them off to make sure that there wouldn't be too many people in the yard i really wanted to invite all of my friends and family but it was just impossible of course because of this time right now so i basically just focused it on my friends that i see all of the time at co-op and stuff like that and also my friends that are leaving and going away to college or moving away that I wouldn't really get a chance to see after this as much so I wanted to make sure I had one last time with them but I will be making up for that as soon as I can have my big party I don't know maybe 18 okay so the event started at seven o'clock seven o'clock was the perfect time honestly because my friends they were basically on time so they came at seven and there was just music playing and we were able to talk and catch up before we watched the movie i really didn't want everyone to just get there and sit and watch the movie in silence and just not talk because i haven't seen them in so long so this way we were able to mingle a little bit and also I really love music, it's such a big part of my life and I wanted to incorporate all of my favorite songs, all of my friends favorite songs as well um, and it was just a good time. I just set up the movie around 8.15, 8.30 when it finally got dark enough for the projector to show and then even all throughout the movie we were just talking and commenting and it just made it so much more fun. 
So basically, I underestimated how much we were going to buy these things. I was telling my cousin the other day, I was like, I literally sent out invites to my friend and stuff, telling them that I was going to have a movie night, and I did not buy anything. We did not have a projector, we did not have a screen, we didn't have the seating, no speakers, nothing. <laughs> I just told them that it was going to happen because I just knew it was going to happen. But anyway my mom thank god really put this together basically so all of the credit goes to her because she was able to make sure that this was as perfect as it could be we had to order the screen this projector the seating the popcorn machine and the speaker so for the projector you need to make sure that it has the right amount of lumens and also the connections that you need the lumens are important because you want to be able to see the screen even if it isn't super dark out I know the more lumens it is, the more expensive it is, but just do your research. My mom was able to find a good budget one that was actually great quality and the resolution was really clear as well. Okay, so for the screen, make sure you know how you're gonna hang it up. We were gonna hang ours up on our garage, but you need to make sure that it's in a good stable spot because if there's wind or it's moving back and forth then it will obstruct the movie a little bit. We, thank God, had these stands that I have. If you guys have watched my makeup tutorials or anything like that, you'll see the white backdrop that I use. That stand was the perfect height and we were able to just weigh it down with some weights and have the screen attached to it up there using some ties and stuff like that. So that worked perfectly. but. Make sure that's something that you think about before the day of the event because it'll just make it so much easier if you have that planned out. I do not realize how big of an expense this seating could be if you don't have anything prepared already. Especially because it's a movie night, you have to be comfortable. And metal chairs that are just folded in your garage could be pretty painful to sit on for just hours straight while you're watching the movie and i wanted to make sure that everyone was super comfortable ideally i would have loved to just have like a grassy area where we could just lay out blankets and pillows and stuff like that so if you are on the grass then that's great but we have pavers in the part of our yard that we were doing the movie night so that wasn't an option because we could just have people sitting on blankets on pavers, that would be pretty uncomfortable. Thank God my mom was able to find these metal chairs with cushions on them for the yard. But just make sure that you're aware that the seating could be a major part of your event if you don't have that material in your house already. The speaker on the projectors usually are not loud enough to play the movie, so make sure you have a good loud speaker. The volume on my speaker was loud enough so that we were able to comment and like just have fun and bounce off of each other and make jokes and still be able to hear the movie even though it was outside. So make sure you have a nice loud speaker because it just adds to the experience. I recorded a lot of us shopping for decor and stuff like that so instead of me just telling you what I got because I feel like that would be pretty dry, I'm going to insert some of the footage of us shopping so that you can kind of see what my thought process was like and also just like some fun clips of us shopping. She's a Mona Lisa. So basically we're just heading into Target but I'm not exactly sure what we're buying right now because we don't really have an idea. We're going to Amazing Savings later but for now we're just going to head in there since we find a mask because I do need a cuter mask than just like this disposable one for my birthday and then other than that I don't know but we'll see. Beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar those are perfect. Can you see the back of it again? Oh yeah, I like the colors in it. Oh wait, those would be so pretty for cake plates for real. Yeah, just these ones. Because that matches it. Once you get to meet her, she's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Okay, so we're looking at these takeout plates so that we can actually like let people take some food home. We should have some leftover food. And instead of like wrapping these paper plates with foil, these are really inexpensive. I think they're like 10 cents a piece. And it just makes the whole process so much easier. Also, I love it because I feel like I own a restaurant and I'm just packaging up food really nicely. It just makes it so much more fun. So we're getting these sweets and stuff. What Simon say? All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that. Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back. You be looking fine, so no wonder they can match that. Louis V scarf, or I'm chilling with a dad. Whoa. Slow it down like that. Just hold me down. 
In addition to all that footage that you just saw from my shopping, I went through all the decor that I bought. So that footage will be right now. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of some of the supplies that I have in the other room for the movie night. It's not everything because like the big projector and the popcorn machine are like in the assembly process in the other room. So we're trying to figure out how to put it together. But in terms of decor and like utensils and stuff like that, I can go through that with you right now. All right, so first thing, I got these really pretty vases and these two bins from the dollar store. They were like a dollar a piece, I think, and they're so pretty. These bins were just really nice bins. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do with it. We'll probably put some candy or some napkins or something. All right, these are pretty basic. I don't need to explain them too much. They're just plastic table covers. I got them in this off-white color just so that I wouldn't have too many like colors all over the party. I don't want it to look like a super saturated kind of event. So I thought that this would tone it down a little bit. Okay, so these bags were actually supposed to be my popcorn bags but they came so tiny this is the reference this is the size of my hand and this is the popcorn bag and my hand is not a giant hand so this is a pretty small bag i think we're gonna just end up using them for candy and let people bring some candy home this will be just like a little bag you can't go wrong with it these are the other popcorn buckets that we ended up getting after the bag failure it has popcorn on it some pictures of popcorn it's pretty cute i was initially trying to find like a pink ba box or something like that but it was super hard to find also now that i see everything come together it wouldn't have matched anyway so i'm really happy about this it makes it feel like an official movie night again more buckets and bins and such but we just got these for a couple of dollars they're just good bins to have i think we might lay out some napkins or something in here but it's just something else that's neutral that'll tie the theme together a little bit i got these candles i just wanted white candles because my cake is purple so it's gonna be a pop of color itself so i thought that white candles would be pretty nice and neutral and just just be like basic you know and this is a cake topper situation but i already have a cake topper that we ordered on amazon that matches the cake so this is basically just an extra thing that we have here all right so i had to call in my sister to help me record this because these are my big one six balloons they're just giant like four feet rose gold balloons I don't even think the whole thing is in frame because it's hard to show them but when I get them blown up and I take pictures I'll make sure to put pictures in so that you guys can see but these were basically the only thing where I was like okay I need my balloons and I'll pretty much be happy with whatever so I'm really excited I'm like satisfied I have my balloons I can take pictures I'm pretty happy and these are gonna look really great all right so basically these paper lanterns I got they're this purple color I thought that they were gonna be different I'll show you guys the picture of what it looked like on Amazon they were supposed to be mulberry it sounded fancy and sophisticated so I was like that's perfect it was really pretty this is not mulberry as you can see so this will look cute still it matches all the other purple stuff accidentally so this is actually perfect and it'll look really good and it'll still match the theme so i'm not mad at it these will hang off the pergola in the back it's just gonna be a really pretty addition this is the snack section this is basically the most exciting part of this entire thing we really went all out trying to pick the best concession type of snacks and i'm going to bring you guys through the entire rundown of our concession stand also it's going to be on this cart as well we're going to take this out in the yard um but basically we have popcorn because it's a movie night and it would not be a movie night without popcorn these are some lollipops that we got because my sister and I have braces like you've probably seen in my previous video and unfortunately I cannot indulge in all of the gummy candy that I would really like to. These are the Airhead Extremes. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to have one or two of them the day of and just try not to pull out my bracket because I just haven't had this in so long. And then we got this pack which is just Skittles and Starburst all in them. There's four different flavors and two different flavors of Starburst. So there's a lot for everyone to choose from. And then this is a pack that has Snickers and Twix and Milky Ways and just any kind of chocolate you could think of. Then this is the chips variety pack. So basically we have some Lay's, some Doritos, some Cheetos, some Fritos, <laughs> basically all of the rhyming chips. We had all of our drinks bottled. So we had iced tea, lemonade, some Capri Sun if they wanted. Uh, but most people had the iced tea and lemonade because it was homemade and it was really yummy. And then we have water bottles. 
so nothing was like being poured out of containers into cups so that no one would touch it even with the bottled drinks we have one of the adults using a tong to serve it to them just to minimize contact so everything was well thought out so my mom had the idea of tying Christmas lights all the way up the poles and bringing them zigzag back and forth from the pergola and down the poles again. It was so pretty, it really made the event feel magical. And those are just Christmas lights that we had in our house already. So if you have some Christmas lights, definitely try to utilize them because they made a huge difference at the event. Under our cover room, we also placed one strip of LED lights just so that it would change colors under there. It was pretty subtle because we didn't want to distract from the movie screen that was next to it, but it added a nice extra touch. All of those things that we had were already in our house. We didn't buy any of it and it made the movie night look completely different like it was an aesthetic paradise thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope i helped you out and you either could just copy this idea or come up with something really cool based on some of the ideas maybe spark something in you either way i'm so happy with how it turned out and i hope that you guys have a great birthday if you're looking at this trying to plan something for your own birthday i'll see you guys in my next video bye